I am back. Rudrance for the Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment. Well, we don't have a live stream on Rumble today, so so we're going to do a few videos this, from now through probably Sunday on this channel uh, because we don't have any clips, and frankly, we still want to be able to do a few videos over here. Uh, so, man... I've got something that will drop your jaw. I know when I saw it, it dropped my jaw. And I was like, holy crap. All I could think of was lighter fluid and a match. That's all I could think of when I saw this serialistic nightmare that has happened to a woman's brand new house that she just bought. She just bought her a new house. She's proud. She's moving in. Her dog's barking. Why are you barking right now, dog? I know if it was one of my dogs, my dogs are real smart. The only problem is probably one of the little shits like the Jack Russells would have probably came sauntering up with one of these jokers. So, also, make sure you check us out on podcast. All the audio from all of our videos is available, of course, wherever podcast is available. Let's get to this nightmare. I would rather see Freddy Krueger, literally. New York Post. Home buyer finds new house is infested with huge snakes slithering in the wall. And folks, we're not talking one here. All right? We're not talking one. We're talking about where the lost ark actually is laying. <laughs> In Indiana Jones, we're talking about a lot of snakes. This is crazy. Now, I'm going to tell you, I have been told by some people that snakes are in everybody's walls. I've always heard that. Um, I don't think I buy it, but I have always heard that from various people randomly. You know, sometimes country folks, they, they tend to embellish every now and then to tell a good story. Or if they've got 12 beers in them. So, a mom from Colorado was in the process of moving into her new house when she discovered, to her horror, that her dream home was overrun with, quote, shockingly big slithering squatters. Amber Hall told Channel 7 Denver... Uh, Channel Denver 7... Well, that's an interesting word, word play right there in New York Post that when she closed on the four-bedroom, two-bathroom home in Centennial, she had no idea that the property doubled as a snake den. <laughs> God, help us all. Hall said it was one of her dogs that made the skin-crawling discovery in the garage while she was unpacking her belongings during the move. Quote, I came over to see what he was looking at, thinking it was going to be like a spider or something. And there were two little holes right there. And I saw snakes slithering up the wall. My wife just said, oh no. So I panicked. I'm sure. The woman described the unwelcome house guest nesting in the walls as, quote, shockingly big. Look at that nightmare, folks. Good God almighty. And yeah. Yeah. Some people were saying it was it was garter snakes. It looks like garter snakes to me. I didn't know garter snakes got that damn big, to be honest with you. I mean, they're feasting on something that's making them jokers grow. And, and look, I don't give a damn what kind of snake it is. Off with its head, okay? The woman described the unwelcome house guest nesting in the walls as, quote, shockingly big. Everybody's saying there's some form of garter snake. But they're also giving the caveat that nobody's ever seen garter snakes that big. I, I mean, that's a big-ass garter snake. And, I mean, right there, look, at that that one just keeps going and going. That's great. Look at that. Can you imagine? Nah. Nah. Garter snakes are non-venomous, but can strike and bite, bite humans, sometimes causing an allergic reaction. Yeah, it's my understanding, like, you can either have an allergic reaction or you might even it might even get infected. I've heard of people getting bit by non-venomous snakes needing a tetanus shot, which is not going to be fun. 
Wow. Hall 42 said that she had spent her entire life sa- saving up to that point to buy her first home, and now she and her family cannot enjoy it and are even afraid to use the bathroom for fear that a snake could emerge from the toilet. God. This is awful. It's like you crawl into bed, and if the sheet brushes your foot or something, you immediately rip off the covers or jump out of bed to make sure nothing's in there. My God. I mean, absolute. Look at that. Jesus. The unlucky homeowner said in less than two weeks, she has seen close to a dozen snakes in her home. (sighs) What is happening here? Quote, I'm scared to death, the woman said. Desperate to rid her property of the slithering menace, the woman has hired a snake wrangler to humanely remove the critters, an enterprise that has already set her back more than $1,000. Humanely remove them? Nah, bro. Flamethrower. <laughs> okay? Let's skip humanely and go, look at this. Shiznit right here. Oh, Jesus. I hate snakes. I really hate snakes. She said in the pest control specialist told her that some of the snakes had been living on the property, possibly in a den hidden under the house for at least two years based on their massive size. I bet there's not a rat to be seen around there. I mean, honestly. Hall said she has doubts that she is the first person to see snakes at that house. A representative for the real estate company Hall used to purchase the house told the news outlet that she would have been told about the snakes if anyone had seen them earlier. Um, who exactly did the home inspection on that joker? Just wondering who home inspected this home? Me and them would be having ourselves a little conversation. And I don't know that it would go well, frankly. Yeah. Uh, In fact, it would not go well. That's me telling you it would not go well. Uh, I hate snakes. I really hate them. Oh, that's just my pet snake, Reggie. Show a little backbone, would ya? No. No, I'm like Indiana Jones. I hate snakes, man. I really hate them. Yikes. Oh. Look, this was kind of a fun video to do, but at the same time, no, man. This is not cool. I don't want to make light of it. It's terrible. It's horrible. Uh, I live out on a community private lake situation, so as you can imagine, since I've lived out here, uh, I've killed a couple of cottonmouths. I've seen, and I've seen my... uh, my neighbor that lives literally right next door to me, I imagine he has killed probably 12 to 15 cotton mouths since I've lived here in the last three or four years. And I myself has killed two cotton mouths and I have killed four copperheads. Yeah, including three babies all at one time with one swing. Yeah, they were all looking at me like that. Why? Because I just cut their mother's head off. Go to hell, snakes. A fiery one. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Make sure you use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word will get you 25% off. Go get them right now.